When they entered the city, they found just as it had been announced and prophesied. They sat down to the banquet and ate and drank. He broke the bread and gave them the cup, that they might all partake. That they might all partake and eat of his flesh and drink of his blood, in the fulfillment of the refounding, of the renewal of the new covenant. Here is the communion with the body of Christ. Here is the feast of the children of Christ that attend the banquet that their Lord has prepared for them. Just as it had been announced and prophesied, Come all and eat of it, this is my body. Come and drink of my blood that seals the new and renewed covenant in Christ. Take, do not look at what is matter, the flesh profits nothing, but look at what is spirit, for my words are spirit and life. Blessed are all those who will take part of this banquet, eating and drinking of the body and blood of Christ. Who wants to take part of Christ, love made person, the word made flesh, embraces its essence, to embody its substance, to become in fulfillment as he is, many little Jesus and many little Marys. Whoever wants to be and live the communion of Christ, obey the Father's commandments and put into practice the commandment of love, by giving love and glory to God, to then love and live the neighbor, loving oneself, loving the life that the Father has given us, loving the gift of life, sacred gift of God, that no one can ever extinguish, that no one can ever teach to extinguish, in the moment when suffering and the trial comes. This is not the teaching given to us by the Father. Allowing the trial and the sacrifice of the Son. The Son clung to the Father, just as the Father even more clung to the Son in the trial. Not saying to the Son, shun the trial, just as the Son didn't ask the Father to be subtracted, at the time when he was in the trial. Foolish, you who proclaim yourselves ministers of a house that is no more and who teach to extinguish life in the moment the trial comes. Foolish and laid of heart. You children who are in search of the truth, do not listen to those who in the senselessness, that has subjugated them, teach a false doctrine, that doesn't come from the Father, that does not make live the communion with the Son. Remain steadfast on the holy teachings that the Father has given us, that the Son, gift of the Father who manifests life, essence of the Father teaches us and gives us. Live, eat and drink of the authentic teachings of Christ, descended from heaven in this land of love, to teach in spirit and truth, what Jesus taught us. Let us stand firm on these teachings, so that we can take part, to live the communion in Christ, with Christ and for Christ, holding firm on his teachings, keeping at the center the sacredness of life and the sacredness of the family, just as the Father gave it to us. Do not listen to the teachings of a world and a house that has become perverted. A perverted world, that has become worse than animals, that would like to teach an order that is total disorder, going against nature and going against all that the Creator has taught us and given us. Do not listen to those who will lead everyone to not live for eternity Christ. To not be in communion with his body for eternity, because who will listen to these teachings will ruin and find himself where never the children of God should be, where there is gnashing of teeth, where there is inconsolable weeping. You, come to this little cradle, to be embraced by the embrace of the Father, who in his infinite mercy will embrace all those who though they have erred, they will want to get back on the road, to savor the mercy of God. Come, turn away from what is sin and death. Do not listen to those who would have you believe that sin does not exist. That to go against nature is not a sin. This is what men can say, but the ministers of the true God can never say it. Come you, who are suffering, afflicted. Come to be refreshed in this little cradle of the infant Jesus and join these holy sheep who are here, and who nourish themselves with the good, holy food of the uncontaminated bread that emanates its fragrance, that exudes its flavor, a bread not adulterated, not mixed with other poisonous substances. But the pure bread, in essence. That bread descended from heaven, that wants to be distributed to all the children who want to receive it with faith. Come and eat, come and drink, the body and blood of Christ, he who immolated himself and gave himself, 
so that all may have life and have it in abundance. In this church, the body of Christ is alive. Come and eat all of you, you who want to savor life for eternity. Drink of it everyone, you who want to remain in holy communion with the Father, who has made and sealed his covenant with this church for eternity. Come and join these brothers, these sisters, these friends, these young people, in whose veins flows the blood of him who is life. You young plasmas of this church, who animate the members of this body, with your holy behavior. Be holy as your Father who is in heaven is holy, drive away all that is not holy, so that even now we can be so many little Jesus and so many little Marys, who want to be, live and make live the communion with the body of Christ, to be all one with his Spirit, to live communion from heart to heart. We will put the heart of Christ back in the center, starting next Sunday, where the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus will be celebrated, to move everything to Sunday, the day in which the Lord after having made everything, after having created everything, wanted to rest with his children and so we will do together, so that from Sunday and forever the Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, united with the Feast of the Body of Christ, may seal and close this month dedicated to the Heart of Christ. Dedicated to the Heart of Christ's faithful children, who in Christ want to live, to be in communion with His Spirit, from heart to heart. So be it.